Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. And today, not the sexiest of subjects. It's all about invasive jumping worms. I've been working in the garden and you can see all these invasive jumping worms and they are terrible. And you can see the clitellum, which is that white part right there. And that's how you notice or note what these are. They're not earthworms, they're terrible. And they degrade the soil and they're invasive. So if you find them, I just kill them. I just get rid of them. They're not good, there's too many of them. I mean, this was in a small area of the garden and all of these were in that little area. The impact of these invasive worms is what it does to the soil. So if you look, the soil almost looks like coffee grounds. And this was all leaves. This was all beautiful leaf matter and it's just been degraded. And you can see it's only on the top. So if you go down, you're back to sort of normal soil. And what happens is, is this is, this is bad because it can help promote erosion. And sometimes the plants literally, the roots can't hold in there and they get pulled up. Now, this bucket here, had some leaves in it and I was noticing while I was just sitting here waiting if you dig down we've got more of those worms in here and there they are right so the worms got into this and you can really tell by the way they thrash that these are not normal worms but, but again here you can see how the soil is looks like coffee grounds it's not sort of not normal what you'd expect from an earthworm um, and these worms move more like snakes. And that's the reason snake worm or jumping worm or some of the other names for them. Actually been in the United States since the 1800s, but they've really started to gain more of a foothold lately. All right, so there you have it, the invasive jumping worm. They look like earthworms. They're doing some pretty bad things to the soil. Hoping that over time, as research continues, we're able to figure out maybe something you could put in your soil to get rid of them. But for now, when you do find them, you want to destroy them, get rid of them. They're not good, and they are doing a number to the forest floor in many parts of the country. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.